welcome back to the Winter's Heritage House Museum. We are going to explore another very ordinary thing today. Butter. We always think of butter as, you know, butter, but no. Butter, as it turns out, actually is a dairy product that comes from cows in the form of milk. Now, sometimes when you examine what's actually going on with something, the best place to start is looking at its original purpose. While we use milk and butter and cream in all sorts of recipes and food items, that's not really what it's for. Orville! I have my little friend with me. Come on, guess what milk's really for? Baby animals! This is Orville and he's a lamb and he says it's breakfast time. And I brought with me some milk and he's already excited. Oh my goodness. And this is what milk is for. Feeding baby critters. I had to mix up a special batch just for him from a mix from the farm store as his mom was unavailable. She had three lambs and poor Orville got cut short. So we're making sure he gets what he needs. But this is what milk is for. Milk is for baby animals. From humans to lambs to calves. So that's gonna help us as we try and uncover what it is that will change milk or cream, which is just richer milk, into butter. Bottoms up, good job. That's it, that's all. Part of that milk is cream, and when you churn it, this is a butter churn. Let me show you what's in here. We've got a plunger and a lid, and it was a big children's job to stand and churn butter. You would put your cream in there and just by plunging that plunger over and over the cream will actually physically change to butter. We're going to look into the science of what is going on when you make butter. I bet you didn't even know you could make butter, but you can. Okay, while Orville and Henny are playing, we're going to do the science part of this all thing. Now, if you haven't noticed, we've been picking things that are really ordinary and finding all sorts of fun science in them. And history too. I think history and science are in a lot of things. Anyway, so we're going to talk about butter and how cream turns into butter. And you can make some here at home too. This is a glass of milk. It's not pasteurized. This is raw milk from a farm. And what would happen, because it's never been pasteurized, which is a little bit like a cooking process, this is raw milk. If I let this sit for quite a few, maybe three or four days, the cream, which is the fattier part of the milk, will rise to the top. And the reason it does that is very much like our ocean in a bottle. Do you remember when we did that? The oil rises above the water. The fat will rise above the less fat milk. So it's kind of the same almost. So fat, lots of fat, no fat, less fat. So it rises up to the top and separates. I have a picture. Here's what it would look like after quite a few days. If you look, the fat part rises, not so fat part down here. And that's where cream comes from. Now we, being modern, went to the store and just bought ourselves some cream. We didn't have to wait for it to get all separated out. I might drink that later. So we went and just bought cream, which is the fat part of the milk. And if you want to do this at home, you want heavy cream. Whipping cream will also work, but heavy cream has a higher fat content and is much better for making butter. The other nice thing to maybe do is wait for it to be a little closer to room temperature. Sometimes it makes the butter come a little quicker. And all I'm going to do is pour some cream into a jar. Put the lid on the jar. And 
we're gonna start adding air by shaking it. The butter churn would add air because of the way the plunger works. First, what you'll get is whipped cream. You can stop at whipped cream and just add a little bit of sugar to it and just sort of fluff the sugar into the whipped cream. It's so tasty on strawberries. Make me get hungry. But I'm not gonna stop at whipped cream. We're gonna go all the way to butter. I'm gonna keep shaking this and shaking it. It's taken a while. But just think of those colonial children working away to get that butter. So they had to use a butter churn. I don't know if that would go fast. Somehow I don't think so. But they were making lots of it too. We're just making that tiny little bit. Make that butter, make that butter, make that butter. I think we're at whipped cream. I can't hear it anymore. Look at that, whipped cream. Butter. Once you make the butter, what's gonna happen? You're gonna hear a thunk. And what that is, because whipped cream is just whipped cream. It's just cream with air in it. And that thunk is a chemical change at the molecular level. I'm getting tired, keep going. Yankee Doodle went to town a ride on a pony Stuck a feather in his hat and called it butter I'm glad I don't have to do this every time we make toast Oh, I heard a thunk And when you hear the thunk, you'll start to hear some splashing You want to keep going just a little bit longer Because it doesn't all change to butter at the same minute Oh my gosh, this is exciting Okay, can you hear that? We got our butter Buttermilk and a blob of butter. You can actually strain the buttermilk for recipes. And at this point, you can drain the buttermilk off if you want to save it, but run cold water over this and keep pressing it with a spoon. And then some people like salted butter, so you might want to just put a pinch of salt and stir that in there. <sighs> Exhausted. That was so much fun. Sometimes it takes forever. Sometimes it goes pretty quick. It depends on the fat content. But I promised you, not only would we do something fun, and it's cool to make butter, I'm gonna tell you why cream turns to butter. Do you remember when we did our ocean in a bottle? And I hope you did, and if you didn't, go back and check out the very first video that we put up. We made an ocean in a bottle. It's oil and water. These guys do not get along. This is the oil, this is the water, and they do not want to be together. We could take this and shake it and they might sort of be blended together, but overnight they will separate themselves again. They do not like each other. So what's happening to make milk? Milk is a baby food. Its original purpose is for feeding little Orville or other little baby mammals. Mothers can make milk in their mammary glands. Not just cows, but all mammals. Dolphins are mammals. They feed their young milk. And whales too. Mice, cats, dogs, ponies, giraffes. And here's what's going on. These look like marbles, but today they're fat molecules. And she's getting them to get along. Inside its mammary gland, she's wrapping fat molecules with water molecule. And they're staying together. This cow, can do what this guy in a laboratory has never been able to figure out. And that is how do you get these two to combine? But she does it, she's amazing. She's taking those fat molecules, she's wrapping them up and she's putting them together with the water molecules. It's like I'm in a cow udder right now. Wrapping my molecules of fat with molecules of water. I go making my milk and then of course as you recall the butter you can't just shake milk and get butter you've got to shake heavy cream that's the fattest part of the milk and the reason you have to skim that off the fat does kind of want to float so the fattest part of the cream if you let it sit for a day will rise up to the top and you can skim that off that is the biggest fattest molecules wrapped up with the water and that's the stuff that will come back apart again because what we're going to do now we've got our milk molecules all wrapped together 
and we added air. Do you remember that? Add a little air, you just keep adding more and more, and soon that bond that the cow made between the water and the oil comes apart. And now we can just see that it's actually water and fat come apart. They don't stay together very well because they really don't like each other. When we were shaking it, we got to whipped cream, we added about as much air in there as that cream could hold. And then one more shake and boom, it popped apart. The cream separated that the cow put together. Sorry, cow. <laughs> we like butter. So I hope that explains it. That's what butter is. Now I gotta go find Orville because I have no idea where he's off to. Hey, Orville had a good time playing with Henny, didn't you? And I hope you had a good time playing with us. We only made a little bit of butter, so imagine all the work that went into that multiplied by making a whole butter churn full of butter. How much work those kids did back in the day. I hope you learned something and I hope we see you again. Bye. Take care until next time.